So one of the complications that can occur after any joint replacement or any surgery on the lower limbs are blood clots. These can form in the vessels of the uh, legs and can, uh, if they're large enough, break off and go to the lungs, which can be life-threatening and cause people to uh, not be able to oxygenate fully and can ultimately lead to death, but it is a very rare complication in relation to joint replacement. We try and uh, reduce the risk of this by making sure that people don't smoke before surgery, as smoking tends to make the blood stickier and put you at greater risk of this. We also make sure that we give them uh, advice on keeping as mobile as possible after the surgery um, so that uh, stasis doesn't occur in the veins as when we're walking. The um, muscles in the calf act as pumps and push the blood around in the venous supply, stopping it sitting there, which increases the risk of uh, the sticky stickiness occurring and causing blood clots. The other way that we reduce the risk is sometimes we use compression stockings. Um, I myself personally don't use them for patients, but um, some surgeons um, believe that they are beneficial. Uh, unfortunately, however, I tend to find that uh, limbs tend to swell afterwards and uh, the ideal th um, situation which is graduated compression in the lower leg doesn't occur you just get tightness at the top of the stocking which probably works negatively against the uh, against the venous return which is the opposite of what we're trying to do uh, I tend to advocate using uh, calf pumps which uh, are, uh, put on after the surgery and squeeze the calves pushing blood grew out of the muscle into the lower, into the upper lower limb, uh, emptying out the venous uh, system from the lower limb. The other way that we uh, help uh, reduce the risk of blood clots is to use med medications. Now with knee replacements, I follow NICE guidelines, which involves giving patients aspirin after the surgery uh, for a couple of weeks. Uh, this aspirin uh, basically acts as an antiplatelet um, medication and stops the platelets from being stickier, which stops um, clots forming. Uh, if anybody's been on aspirin before the surgery, they're aware that if they cut themselves, they tend to bleed more easily um, and uh, take longer to clot off, uh, which is the effect that we're trying to uh, make occur within the actual venous supply itself. The other thing that we do with um, with hip replacements is we use a, a drug called Colexane. Now this is given as an injection form and tends to um, uh, reduce the uh, risk of clots. There are oral medications that can be given, um, such as the uh, newer generation NOAX, they're called, such as a Pixaban, but they do tend to make uh, the wounds wetter and cause prolonged uh, leaking afterwards. In fact, the last two patients that I've done that were on a Pixaban before the surgery had knee replacements and we had to um, use different types of dressings to try and get the wounds to seal over because of the delay um, healing and continued leaking from using a Pixaban. Uh, however, in high risk patients, sometimes this is what we have to do and it's a balance of risk and benefits like all things that we do in surgery. Nothing is risk free. So this is one of the risks that can occur after surgery. Um, the take home message from uh, myself is to keep as mobile as you can, make sure that you keep well hydrated as dehydration tends to promote uh, clotting. Um, this tends to mean avoiding um, excessive amounts of alcohol because they act as diuretics and do tend to dry you out. Um, and make sure you drink plenty of uh, liquids such as water. The other thing is to make sure you take your medications regularly as there's no point people like myself prescribing them if you don't take them. Hopefully this is of use for you. I'm going to do a series going through the various risks uh, of surgery um, to make people aware of what's involved. As whilst uh, um, lower limb surgery, hip and knee replacements give fantastic results, complications that are not, uh, are, uh, are not guaranteed to not occur and can occur on occasions which can uh, in severe cases affect your outcome.